Hi, this is Paul from Paramount Network Systems, found at webjunk.com, and today we're doing PHP List, and in this one, we're going through the basic importing. Now, hopefully, you already did and understand attributes, and we had created an age group attribute and a full name attribute, okay, and we had created a list called Cigar Magazine. So now, what we're going to do is look at importing. Now, the basic thing of importing is it gives you four options. You can import emails from another database. We're not going to cover that in this video. Import emails from an IMAP account. We're not covering that, but just understand that this is so if you want IMAP in sync with your database, um, you can pull from that. Of course, it's pulling from IMAP, it will not sync from the IMAP like a normal IMAP account. The two that you will use here are import emails with the same values for attributes and import emails with different values for attributes. So what do we mean by that? Well, if we go to a list and open it up, you'll see we have five email accounts. There are no attributes listed in this database. It's simply email messages. So if that's all you need, or they can be the same, we can use the same values here. Um, if you're going to have different values, then you would use this import. And then that means that your database that you're importing is going to have the values. So when you say same values, what you're going to do is apply these two attributes and if you select under 21 that means everybody that's imported will get under 21 if it's over 21 they'll select that if you enter a full name so if you say George Jones everybody is going to be George Jones not necessarily what you want now you would select the list. Now you don't have to select the list, but then you would have to manually add the people to whatever list they belong to. So if you just want to import users and then apply the list, you can do that. But here we're going to put it into Cigar Magazine. We're going to do here and select our CSV file, which is considered a comma separated, but normally the default is tab. Tab is preferred because commas could be in the field and cause you problems. But since there is no fields, we don't even have a delimiter for that. And the record delimiter is a line break. We'll do a test output first. Now also to understand is there's a send notification email. So when you add these people, normal practice is that you need to confirm the users and have them opt in and you do that through the send notification email but if you're pulling from a list that you know these people want to receive and you know the emails are good you can just check off here make confirmed immediately and you can select whether to receive the emails in HTML format so now we're gonna just do the test and see what, what we get so when we import you can see test output there should be only one email per line and here you do you see five lines of our emails and if you go back now we'll go back select our list select our CSV file leave these as defaults we don't need them we will not select test output we will say make confirmed immediately receive an HTML we're gonna leave it as over 21 and for full name what I find useful is please update and then you can have the users or yourself go and you can even search for that and update all the ones that say please update. We click on import and it says now five new emails were successfully imported and added to one list. So here's the five emails were subscribed to the list. So if we go over to our list for Cigar Magazine and click on view members, you will see here is our list. Now you will see full name is listed as please update and age group is over 21 so there you have it you've just imported a list